Welcome to this C Sharp support video for the fifth in the series on validation and the second in the series on using regular expressions for pattern checks. The idea is we want to check some student email addresses to see if they are valid and by valid, um, let's just put some test data into regex 101 um, and see what we mean. So this is going to be valid because we've got um, two numerical digits and the minimum allowed number of um, alphabetical characters and then the correct email suffix. So that will be acceptable. This one is wrong because we've spelt Fulford incorrectly, so we don't want that to match. Um, this one here um, hasn't got two characters and hasn't got two numerical digits, so we don't expect that one um, to work. This one um, has 10 alphabetical characters, um, which we will allow but any more than 10 we won't allow so this one has 11 and we don't want that one to be valid okay so using regular expressions we can match a numerical character and we want to have exactly two so let's put in exactly two then i would like any uppercase characters or any lowercase characters and be careful you might have thought that you could shorten that to go from capital a to lowercase z but if you look at the ascii table um, between the capital letters, here we go, and the lowercase letters are some additional characters. We don't want to match those. Um, well, probably not. There might be um, a student with an apostrophe in or a back tick, but let's ignore that for now. Um, so we want to go all uppercase and all lowercase in this class of characters that we're allowed. So that just matches the first one. And here, rather than saying exactly two, you can say from two to any number or from two to a maximum of 10, which is what we want. So that doesn't match the 11th character here, that's good. Then we can just put in the rest of the email address at fullford.york.seh.uk, but be careful because this full stop in a regex matches any character. So we don't want to be able to match something like, um, that's a bad example because that was an invalid one. We don't want to be able to match that. That's not valid. Uh, so if we want the exact full stop in here, we just have to escape it in the regex. Um, and that should work. The only thing we need to be careful of now is that we don't want it to match with anything before or after. So we have to say, right, start at the beginning and finish at the end so that it will now only match if the whole string is this regex string here. Right, let's plop this in here and hope for the best. I don't think it will work yet because we've got escaped characters in there. Um, so we just need to put the at sign in which says ignore any escaped characters that's part of the string literal. And hopefully it will test hundreds of email addresses using our regular expression. Um, Excellent. So do um, practice using regex 101, or there are some brilliant regex tutorials. Um, oops, just search for uh, regex, and there are some really good resources out there that will explain all of the character classes, all of the um, fancy things that you can do to save you time and effort doing pattern checks for validation. All right, hope this has been useful. See you next time.